Welcome to Soundbridge Music's Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know Front Range artists who not only shape the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music and its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're so happy to be here today with Finding Phoenix, the Longmont, Colorado duo. Well, we have Amy and Dave here from Finding Phoenix. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, how did Finding Phoenix get its start? Oh my gosh. Well, it happened not too long ago. It's about, what, three years ago now? I think two. We started, or two years ago now, um, started playing open mics here in Longmont. Mm -hmm. And fell deeply in love with the music community here. And uh, I was going through some major changes in my life and discovering that I couldn't live anymore without really finding my truth and music and I just started writing. I just started writing songs, I started playing guitar and here I am, Dave, years later, couldn't stop. Here we are. How'd the uh, collaboration come about? Well, so I'd been playing open mics at Dickens. Um, I do a lot of instrumental non-singing finger style. Um, Think style guy. Think style. Yeah. Working on singing, not the reading. But uh, Amy was there playing with a friend one night and um, just seemed like we had similar music styles and uh, said we should we should play sometime. So we did. Yeah. So uh, what is the inspiration behind your music? Well, the inspiration. Um, I'm a very introspective writer and it's about, uh, you know, we found music I didn't start writing until I was 39, and um, it's really about at any age, at any time of your life, doing what you love, and not age is just a number. It's it's not a limitation. You just gotta look past that, and uh, that's kind of why I do it. The drive and to be able to connect with others and and tell my story, and if I can just connect with like one other person or um, somebody hears like, oh, I felt that, like, that really, that's really fulfilling for me. So, yeah, fun stuff. So you think, anything you have to add to that, Dave? No, um, I think, you know, at least lyrically, I'll, most of the songs are coming from her stories or you know, things that she's got. It. Um, sometimes I'll come up with a riff and, and yeah. she'll work off of that. Man, like, stop, I have to record that right now! <laughs> I have words! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's good. Yeah. It's a good match. Good match. Good, good pair. Just sometimes taking her what she's already written and, and finding new ways to, to play the music in the background. Yeah. I kind of freak out sometimes because I like I'll figure out chords, you know, because it's still all so new to me, and I'm like, I need to figure out another chord that goes with this chord. Here's the first three chords, and I'm on the phone telling him this. Or and he's like, okay, okay, I, I can do this. Like I can figure this out. Or I go. How do I go pew 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 like with you know and he's just like all right let's figure out that let's take it down a couple notches like so yeah we have a lot of fun trying to figure out how to collaborate with my limitations of musical knowledge and, and yeah so the concert you have coming up mm -hmm. um august 10th yes it's your birthday it's my birthday your birthday celebration yes uh, which is like such a cool time to reflect on music yeah how has your relationship with music changed throughout the years Oh my gosh, I have found more courage and more bravery now than ever um, with music. And I just keep doing a little bit more every day to put myself out there because why not? The only limitation really you have is fear. So, so yeah, I just actually, we just created our Facebook page. This year we created our Reverb site and um, yeah, this, this uh, birthday bash is really about celebration. We actually did our first gig there, like our first like Finding Phoenix gig there a year ago. And um, to be able to celebrate that with all of my music friends and all my nonprofit communities, it's just really exciting. And, and for that show, I believe there are a lot of other, there are other bands on the ticket, right? Yeah. There's uh, 10 Bucks Sixer. 10 Bucks Sixer. You also sing with. Yes. yes. And any other groups? Uh, Helen Peterson. Um, all these people are either Soundbridge artists or, or people that have, are really near and dear to my heart that helped us move forward in our music. So Helen Peterson is more of a, a acoustic um, 
Kelsey Krause um, kind of sound. Um, we have Drew Albright, who is brand new to the music scene. Um, he's going to be doing his his originals and us. And yeah, I'd like to uh, well, thank you guys so much for taking the time and sitting down with us here in Thompson Park, is where we're at. Yes, oh, yeah. Thompson Park. Thompson Park. This is one of the places where my if you haven't seen Finding Phoenix play, catch them Friday, August 10th at Still Cellars. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back next month for our featured artist. If you're interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org. We'll all look in a different direction for the whole thing. <laughs> we should all start at the same spot off screen. Let's see. I got a tough news. Thank you for tuning in today. This is Finding Phoenix. Where are they? <laughs>